all right. Right eyed and bushy tail, lot. Uh, uh. Um, right, what's the time? I think it's about half past eight. Can't see it on my phone because I'm recording this, but uh, obviously I'm on the way fishing. Um, what's it, Thursday morning? I think it's the 30th today, isn't it? I, don't know, I never remember what day or what day it is. Uh, all I remember is when I'm working, when I'm angling. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just let go. Um, Again, mental conditions the next couple of days, especially tomorrow, I think. Um, yeah, we get down to like uh, the 9.8s, 9.7s. It's a massive pressure drop. Um, I think you can see most of the steering wheel, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> and hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, Steve's already up there. Um, he's in this peg I was in last time. Uh, I told him to go for it, man. Um, he, it bless him, he worries a little bit about treading on my toes. I'm like, mate, at the end of the day, if you get there first and you want to go that swim, go that swim, innit? You know what I mean? Um, I would if it was me, so um, excuse the no noisy wipers, but um, yeah, so uh, what can I say after last session? Free fish, man, out of nowhere. Uh, definitely worked for him this year um, already, to be fair. Um, you know, and, and, and you go. You know, it's, it's all well and good posting videos, but this is why I do this, because it's like, you know, a little bit of an insight. I mean, an uh, hour and a half drive for me on a good day. Uh, sometimes I can do a bit quicker, but, you know, I should have left probably half hour later than I have. But, uh, yeah, still a lot of traffic about at the minute, rush hour traffic. But I just want to get up there, really, before this uh, proper rain sets in like it's supposed to this afternoon. Um, so, yeah. Um, not really going preconceived, but there's two or three other areas that um, I'm thinking I might get in uh, where I've had fish before uh, once I get up there. Uh, yeah, I'll be doing the same. Like I said, I, I ain't even doing nothing complicated. I never do. Um, yeah, I'm not one fucking about with Ronnie rigs and all that. I like the concept and I like the idea, but you know, if it was going that long without catching and all that, you know. I'd have to think about it. it. Maybe it would get me more bites, but I just reckon them them uh, 18 mil, you know, bottom bait rigs. I just think they catch a bigger fish. I really do. Um, but yeah, just my opinion. You know, everybody's entitled to an opinion, and at the end of the day. Uh, anyway, I ain't gonna ramble on too long, but it's pissing out of rain, as you can probably hear. Um, yeah, I've got a long old drive yet, uh, which will be fun on the motorway. Anyway. <laughs> In the rain, everybody's paranoid. Uh, yeah, another part of it, people don't see the, the motorway journeys. Not too bad on a weekday, but travelling back on a Saturday, you know, you, you can just tell the people straight away that don't drive on a motorway very often. You know, they're sat in the middle lane, <laughs> and, and they'll be braking for no reason. I'm like, what the f*** are you doing? You know what I mean? Fucking hell. You, you know, it's always amazed me how people crash on the motorway. It's a fucking straight road, and you're all going the same way. But yeah, people do, obviously. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna keep this a little bit short and sweet, but this is the start of my session, technically. Well, actually, it's, uh, actually, it's technically started last night because I loaded my kit up. Um, well, I finished at 11. Um, just because I knew this rain was coming this morning, so I thought, you know what, it was dry last night. Well, I say dry, it wasn't raining. So I thought, throw my kit in, all I've got to do is get up in the morning, shower, change, en route. So yeah, that's what I've done. Um, so I'm hoping I'll get there around right about the same time as last week. Um, although, yeah, I reckon it'll be about half hour or so earlier. Uh, so yeah, happy days. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Just cover a few course on. Um, yeah, and I'll uh, update us later. Oi, oi. Well, I'm finally up here and sorted. Well, I said sorted, ain't got the rods out yet. Uh, yeah, I had a bit of a decision, mate, really, when I got up here. Um, Seems opposite in the point, which I knew anyway. Uh, but yeah, like the two or three of the swims, uh, I would have chose. I was a little bit spoiled for choice. <laughs> um, unfortunately, the swim I was gonna go in, um, not say unfortunately, it's, it's not, but it is. Um, the wind's hacking in there, and like tomorrow, they forecast rain like all day. And I thought, Do you know what? I don't mind fishing in the wind, but if it's gonna be constant rain all day, fuck that. That ain't no fun, but just a little letterbox to look out of, you know what I mean? So, uh, I've decided to yawn poor way around to the pipe swim. Um, and trust me, the amount of rain we've had, it, it's fucking bogging down the bottom end of the lake. That was another fish. Right, so about 10 minutes ago, um, something boshed down to my right, and I think they're, 
I don't know, I reckon they might be cleaning themselves off on the snags because you've got like a bay between me and the next swim. It's a good, I don't know, 200 yards, 150, 200 yards, somewhere about there. Um, and it's full of branches and snags, you know, there's no swims in there, but there's little peep holes in that. And uh, yeah, last session in there, what's that, fortnight ago, I heard a couple like, and I, I read that they're definitely close. So whether they're just using those branches to clean off and that, um, which is probably what it is, to be fair. Um, and I do know uh, a few years back now, well, a couple of years ago maybe, uh, I was fishing this swim and they started spawning and they were going fucking mad down this margin. So, yeah, they obviously use it quite a bit uh, for one thing and another. But, um, yeah, sat opposite for a while this morning drinking tea and that with Steve whilst I was deciding what to do. Um, he hadn't said nothing. And to be fair, I hadn't said nothing, but it, it makes sense if they're showing lob right in tight to this bank. You probably wouldn't even see them from the other side of the lake. So... So yeah, so that's two of her in the last, what, 20 minutes, I reckon, something like that. All right, just grab the vape. So yeah, um, I just want to just show my rigs. There's nothing special. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't cheating on nothing. Uh, so there we go. The most straightforward uh, bulletproof bottom vape rig uh, you can do, really. Uh, that is... Uh, do you know what? I can't remember. I know it's Fox. Fox Super Step or something like that, it's called. Um, I can't remember if it's called Super Step or not. Uh, I'm going to have a look because that'll piss me off now. Oh, I've got a spool in his hair somewhere. Where is it? Camflex. I don't know what I'll show you. Fox Camflex Stiff. Everything's back in front of this camera, but hopefully it won't be to you lot. Yeah, 20 pound Fox Camo Sex Steer, and I love it. And those that know, and if you don't know, I'm solely a bottom bait angler, I really am. I don't like pop-ups and all the rest. I just, I just, I don't know, why complicate it with loads of knots in your rigs and loops and all that? Of course they work, but, you know, just personal preference, really. If I can, you know, fish a bottom bait. Or say if I can fish a bottom bait, I'll find an area that I'm happy to present the bottom bait in. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'll probably miss opportunities because, you know, um, I'll, I'll fish a chod, uh, and I haven't done that many times, but I'll, I will fish a chod, but I'd rather fish that, you know, over over a load of weed than I would, like, sit there with, um, you know, your hinge stiffs and all the rest of it. I just, I, I just don't think you need to complicate it. Just personal preference, you know. Um, anyway, rambling, so yeah. That's uh, the Fox Camatex stiff. Um, and as you can see, it's proper stiff, right? So all I've done is strip back what? Uh, must be a good inch strip back there. It's a good hinge point, as you can see. As long as you hit the clip, it all throws forward. So it doesn't tangle. Um, the old faithful horse has been doing the damage. The old um, fish mills that I'm making myself. Uh, tip with a bit of yellow, which I always always sort of do this time of year. Probably drop that out later on, but uh, I just think it's good for a sight stop. And that's been soaking in the old uh, squid knot for Japanese koi rira. I fucking love that stuff. Um, there is even a bit of it in our bait, which is uh, why it's not cheap to produce it. But sharing the cost with somebody obviously uh, halves it, which is useful. Um, what else we got there? We got a size four bank tackle wide gape hook um yeah fish blow back on a rig ring as you can see little kicker string tube kicker figure of eight knot on the, in the top figure of eight loop in the top and that's it you know that you know i've had fish on this last week people say eh, putting that same rig that's sharp trust me that's sharp you know um and the way them fish were last week yeah they, they weren't getting off so you know i, I just think with a big fish well, even not so big fish. I mean, you know, carp have got cavernous mouths, man, as you know. And like, so that from that bit of separation there, all that can spin and do what it likes in its mouth. And I think that's why, you know, I don't know. I just think that well, that's what's done me the favours, if you like. Um, it certainly has over the years. Um, like I said, those that know me know that I hate pop-ups and all the rest of it. So. Um, yeah, I'll just stick with what I know, really. And that is as simple as it gets. No fancy booms, no fancy swivels, nothing. I mean, so occasionally, um, I might might do a hair, so like a knotless knot rather than that, but 
that is just so tidy, such a tidy blowback rig, you know. Um, yeah, and it nails them, um, as you've seen <laughs> in the last few blogs since you know, when some of them don't know, since sort of October basically. So, yeah, they're about to go out. It sounds like I'm oh, lucky, I've been dodging the rain. Um, just as I was getting sorted out, I got everything in the bibby and it started pissing down and then stopped. Um, long ranges, we're going to get some more. And I'll tell you what, I'm in a t-shirt here, and Steve Squatch is inside the bank, uh, fully fully waterproofed up. I mean, it is going to rain, to be fair. It's just started now. Probably hear it. Um, yeah, it, it, well, it's a warm wind. It's definitely not cold, but it's a lot warmer over here. Um, I've had a good old lead about usual spots. Um, I say usual spots. I've got a spot round to the right of the swim. Um, yeah, uh, that I, where I caught from in December, and it's that far around. I'm pretty sure other people ain't fishing it. I might be wrong. If they are, fair enough. It's it's one of those, isn't it? He's trying to do something different. But uh, the, the 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 spot right out in front is like a nice silt run. So it's the same sort of silt runs that you fish in from the point swim. Uh, 18 wraps. You know, you got like silt, weed, silt, weed. Um, just like banks of weed, that's how it, to my mind how it is, probably not, but you know, definitely you got the silty areas. Um, so I clipped one up to, today and I'm fishing sort of tight to the weed, uh, just because the natural I bought in last week from the point swim, unbelievable. And the weed has just gone boom, you know. So there's no there's no wonder the carp are you know a little bit tricky at the minute. It's early days, isn't it? I mean, not just, just about to come into April. Um, but the fish I had last week absolutely riddled with leeches, hence why they're going to be crashing about, showing. Now's the time to see them, you know what I mean? And to catch them before they get rid of that weight for spawning, you know, in the best condition. So, yeah. Um, so, basically, I've got tonight, tomorrow night. I might even do Saturday night yet, because the weather's looking shit Saturday. Um, and I'd have packed an extra pot noodle <laughs> for um, if I decide to do Saturday night. But we'll see. I've got the option to do it. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it there for now. I'm gonna get these rods out before, um, before it pisses down because every time I look, the sky's getting blacker. No doubt I'll be in my waterproof shortly, but anyway, so yeah, that's a little insight to my rigs. I said nothing complicated, literally, everything I tie my rigs out of is in that little bag, really. Um, obviously, I've got you know, the rig boxes and all the rest of it, and uh, bits and bobs, hook sharpener, fucking brilliant. And literally, you only need to, need to give them a little shave just to get that point, you know, nice and uh, nice and sharp again if it needs it. They don't always need it. And all this, oh, fancy this, fancy that, fucking hook stuff. Little tub of that, lip sole, lip therapy, or whatever it's called. Little dab of that on the point. If you've sharpened it, just stop it rusting. Happy days. Don't need none of this fancy shit. Um, that, you know, oh yeah, put this on and put that on. We don't fucking need it, man. Seriously. Um, <laughs> Catfish has just got so complicated, and as you can see, for me, well, mine hasn't. Mine hasn't got complicated. So yeah, there you go. Um, oh yeah, another little, another little deal. I do like my gadgets, but just a little magnifier. So I'm gonna check the up points. I mean, I, I never, I never go to that extent really. I, I, you can feel on your thumb and on, you know, on, on your skin um, and on your nail whether that's sharp or not. Well, look, if it can pierce your nail, it'll definitely pierce the lip on a fish. You know what I mean? Anyway, it's just about to start raining, which is typical because I was just about to get the rods out. But I'll just leave it there and I'll check in later on. Bucker. Nice little bit of footage here Steve took for me from the uh, point swimming me casting to my right hand spot. Just see it out there to the left of the screen. Just something different, really. <laughs> Evening. The old grizzler sat out on his bucket. He's opposite me. Let's <laughs> uh, zoom this out now without fucking it up. Right, so it's now about quarter to seven. So much nicer now. We've got these longer days. I love it. it makes such a difference. Um, right, so so far this afternoon, I've heard four fish clatter out round to my right somewhere. But every time it's just once. Um, yeah, I've jumped out to try and pinpoint where they are. Uh, open at their show again, but fortunately it's just a once. Um, so yeah, 
but you know um, I had the same in earlier the week they were clattering about um, like I said earlier I ain't surprised they were trying to get rid of them leeches I bet um, them fish I had last week yeah they all had leeches on them quite a few and all so yeah anyway um, the weather for tonight uh, early hours is bonkers uh, mega pressure drop um, yeah and a shitload of rain uh, and poor Steve has got to pack up in it uh, yeah, I'm glad it's on me back, to be honest. I don't think I'd want to be sat in the teeth of it. Uh, but yeah, textbook conditions say you should be in the teeth of it, but yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Not me. Uh, I'm on the back of it, proper on the back of it, yeah. A couple of tufties just drifting in. If you can make them out. Oops, I pressed the wrong button then. Yeah, a couple of tufties drifting in. Tricky old fuckers. They do spook off a head torch though, so that's useful because I haven't got a tufty torch. So they're going to get zapped in a minute. Um, and I've now got somebody moving in opposite as well, which is, as long as he don't go too far out, I'm sure he won't. But yeah, so there's a bit more pressure in the area as well now, which ain't ideal. So yeah, anyway, I've uh, started on the ciders, so I just have a couple of them. Uh, the old dart start at 7, so that'll be on the iPad. Then it'll be carry o'clock, and then horizontal, I should imagine. Uh, yeah, wait for this mental weather to come in. Um, yeah, proper low pressure. You'd like to think that it'd uh, produce a fish, especially in the morning, but we'll see. Anyway, I ain't gonna ramble too much. Um, let's just hope we can bank another one this week. It'd be nice, probably a bit of consistency. No reason why not. Similar conditions, bang on. So yeah, let's wait and see, shall we? But uh, morning. Well, what can I say apart from what a majorly uneventful night? Um, yeah, which surprised me really because uh, mega low pressure at the moment. Oh, it's like nine hundred eighty something. Um, don't think I don't think it was as low as that last week when I had them fish. But uh, yeah, okay now. The textbook carbon says that this is the one, but uh, <laughs> it's not at the moment. Uh, okay, now, man. All right, I'll try and pan it round. I don't know what you can see, but Steve, bless him's opposite, and that that rain is like horizontal, and he's trying to pack away in it, which is shit. Um, yeah, he, he knew it was coming, but yeah, and it's blowing straight across there. It's probably west southwest at the minute. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and thankfully it's on my back. As you can see, my door's open. <laughs> Happy days. Uh, yeah, funny enough, I just had a bit of a, a occurrence on my right hand rod, a bit of a liner. Uh, but yeah, very quiet. I'm surprised, really surprised, I've got to say. Um, I think I said yesterday, I heard a couple round in the bay, like. Um, but that's it, I ain't heard nothing else since. I ain't seen anything else. Uh, yeah, but conditions today are like this all day so you never know there's a chance i've got a waterproof ready to rock wellies on because it's minging in front of my swivel there you see it or not excuse us all fingers and thumbs but yeah that's fucking hanging but yeah the joys of clap fishing eh especially this time of year uh got the old fresh coffee on second one of the day uh yeah just try and keep me awake really <laughs> uh was woke up at ah, I think I woke up at hour three. Um, kept getting bleed, 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 just getting weed on the line. Everybody knows what that's like. It's like, fuck's sake, you gotta go out and sort it, otherwise, just carries on bleeding, doesn't it? So, yeah, sorted that out. And then I was woke up again at quarter six by the fucking swans 27 acres and it dive their heads in amongst my rods, even though there's no bait there. I'm like, fuck's sake, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've pretty much been awake ever since. I had another hour's kip, I think. Um, yeah, about an hour. I've been up ever since, really. But like I said, I haven't seen nothing. So, uh, yeah, not good. But I did have some nice wraps last night. Uh, Piri Piri chicken wraps uh, with rocket and cheese, which went down very nicely. A couple of ciders. Uh, and a beef madras tonight. It's just as well I didn't bring the cob, really, because it's a bit shitty for that. Uh, I'm sure it still would have worked, but it's just less hassle packing away. You know, um, you've got to empty out ashes and clean stuff up and all that, you know what I mean? Uh, fucking rain's mental. It's hooting across there. Yep, I don't envy you, Steve, I'll tell you. Um, 
But anyway, yeah, so nothing really to update. So I'm going to sit back, enjoy my coffee, and hope that something unfolds. You never know. Uh, I ain't going to even touch the rods until later. Um, yeah, just be fresh baits and back out to the spots, really. And that'll be it. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's hope something happens. It's proper conditions all day, but it doesn't always mean that you're on them, you know? Um, we'll see. Catch up later. Fuck it. Guess you could say it was raining. Fucking hell. Well, I chose the wrong time to redo the rods. Uh, one of them's angling, the two of them end. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a goose. <sighs> Makes you wonder why we do it, doesn't it? Like a fucking river running in here, look. I'm just glad I ain't packing up this day. <laughs> More than wow, what a highly uneventful night that was. <laughs> uh, yeah, bonkers, really. I mean, we had the mega low pressure yesterday, most of the day yesterday, I think, um, down to like 980 something. Um, you'd think cock on, but not a thing. Uh, <clears throat> I ain't even seen a fish to be honest. Um, <laughs> bonkers, isn't it? You know, you think, yeah, cock on conditions, blah blah blah. Yeah, not always the case. In fact, more often than not, it's not. <laughs> I found, but uh, there you go. Um, I reckon we've had, I don't know, a good three, a, three, a good three inches of rain. I reckon. Um, that's so much. So I reckon the water's come up by since I've been here absolute deluge um yeah unfortunately it's swim on in cuts up pretty bad um well part of it in it really so um yeah the rules are covered in shit <laughs> and the alarms and everything um i did put a mat down probably try and protect them a bit but uh, it's just a nightmare isn't it um at the end of the day it's like thousands of pounds worth of kit and it with the, <clears throat> your alarms and your reels and yeah i didn't need to tell you how much they cost um so yeah, they had a bucket of water this morning just to get all the shit off of them really. Nothing worse than getting a getting a run and then, a, you know what I mean? All that gravel, crap, mud. Yeah, I look after me kit. <laughs> Cost too much money not to, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, not a lot to say really. It, it's still fucking raining now. It ain't supposed to be, but it's very, very fine bit of drizzle in the air now and again, uh, which is shit really, because I was half hoping it to be sensible this morning. A bit of wind, uh, dry out a bit of kit hopefully before I pack up, but yeah, I don't know. Um, the wind's proper switch now. Um, they said it's going to switch uh, west northwest. Oh, I think it's it, it's scrapped the west and gone straight to the north, so that pressure will be going back up now. Um, that's one of them, isn't it? it hasn't made no difference at all. I don't think this session, um, yeah, what can I say? Um, I mean, there's still chance there's any. What do I say? About past eight, I think it is now. Uh, there is still chance. All the water is rolling the water, really. It's never know, dear. Um, could rip, rip off at any moment, but um, <laughs> well, I'm not looking forward to the trip back to the car. Uh, yeah, I mean, that. But either way, whichever way you go around the lake, this is probably one of the furthest swims that gets fished from the car park. Um, there's a couple of others down past me, but they don't usually get looked at much, to be honest. Um, and it's at, well, yesterday it was absolutely waterlogged, so Christ knows what it's going to be like now. <laughs> I might have to swim across it with my kit, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, it makes no difference which way round I go, it's going to be hard going. Um, but yeah, if I go the opposite way around, um, yeah, you've got like a bit of a slopey bank, um, you got a slopey bank, and then you've got some some sort of effort of a bridge they've made over a boggy bit, uh, yes. Yeah, pain in the ass that way so I think I'm going to go the opposite way it's basically the way I come when I set up when I got here um, yeah it's going to be mega muddy and uh, just standing water really not so much muddy but fucking liner see <clears throat> I'm sat on this pipe swim right and 
there's water coming in the pipe now, whereas there wasn't yesterday. And I think I've had a few liners like that, and I'm thinking, are them fish moving in real close? You know, I'm half, I'm half tempted to spin them in and just chuck them under my rod tips. I really am. Um, yeah, any trouble is doing that. Them swans keep up and down. There's a couple of swans up and down the margins. Um, if they find it, they'll nail it straight away. But I might. Um, I did sit here just now and think, I'll well, have me coffee. If I keep getting liners, I'm going to move one in. Um, there you go, just add one. So, <laughs> and the proper liners are right up. You know, and I've got back uh, back to cap uh, back leads on as well, not captive, just ones that you swing out. Um, and they're probably out about two rod lengths, pinning the line down. So somewhere, I reckon, somewhere between the rod tip and that back lead, fish are moving through. But uh, is it carp? Is it not? It's possible. Um, a lot of people do think that when you've had a lot of heavy rain and that, because obviously, you know, it's piling into the lake in places where it's coloured the water up, and especially this pipe, especially this pipe. Um, it's obviously running in water. I can see the vortex is on top of the water where the water's coming in. Um, I wouldn't say it's actually pumping in, but I might. I might just take a couple of rods out there for the next couple of hours till I pack up. Um, see what happens, isn't it? So yeah, um, very uneventful really on the fishing front, but you know that's the way it goes, isn't it? You can't catch all the time. Um, to be fair, I think if I caught all the time, I get bored of it. Um, at least this way it keeps you guessing, thinking right, well that didn't work or this didn't work. I mean tactics-wise, I'd never really change anything because I know it works, you know. Um, but at the same time, sometimes I think uh, maybe maybe I could have done this or maybe I could have done that. Um, like this session, I, <coughs> I use a lot of ground bait normally. I say a lot, but you know, just um, a, a heavily loaded ground bait. And I mean loaded, I mean like I use a lot of like um, fish hydroslates <coughs> and stuff like that. Um, so the, the ground bait basically is, is glugged in that for however long. <coughs> and then when I get round to using it, obviously an oil, an oil is not going to go off. Um, so yeah, when I get around to using it, I take out what I need out of my main supply, um, just add a bit of water to it when I get on the bank and then, you know, use what I use sort of thing. Um, but I haven't used any of this session. Um, don't really know why. I think last, yeah, last session when I had them fish, um, I just went with straight boily, but just, you know, mashed them up in my hand, you know, squished them all up and yeah, <clears throat> and that worked. So I think maybe because of that worked, I was like, I'm gonna do the same this session. Um, Fucking rain's getting harder again now. <sighs> Annoying. <laughs> well, I stay, might even stay till tomorrow yet. Yeah. I got I got a bit of food I could do. Um yeah, it's supposed to be sunny days tomorrow, but it might get that wrong yet. Anyway, yeah, um Yeah, a bit of stink in the water maybe could have helped. I just don't know, dear. But I like I said I've seen nothing. I, I heard I think I heard four fish in the end round to my right, but that was uh, a Thursday. Thursday sort of afternoon evening when I got here nothing else since bollocks all <laughs> so um, yeah they've proper done the off from around here anyway fucking rain's getting harder man seriously don't want any more man <laughs> I have to get a boat to get home I reckon this week but anyway I'm going to leave it there for now I've done a coffee and uh, contemplate spinning a couple of rods in for the last hour or two I think literally just donk under the rod tips never know dear anyway nothing else happens that is it for the end of this session um but yeah still loving it still keen as mustard must be mad but here we go <laughs> Fuck her. Well, a little bit of an update no fishes yet but uh so i said earlier about the liners i was getting um so i span uh, my right hand rod in dropped it in sort of where I think the flow of the pipe's going. Um, still had the odd twitch liner, uh, but my other two are still up and down, up and down, so fucking hell. Um, but they're out at like, what, 16 and a half wraps? So yeah, fair distance. Anyway, I was stood outside having a cup of tea, rubbing my chin and looking on as you do. And a fucking unit, big old kipper, just wallowed over, probably, what I know, 15, 20 yards at the most, right in front. And I'm like, right, that's what I'm getting the liners, because they must be up and down, up and down. 
So obviously straight away I spam on him. It was out at 16 wraps. Um, yeah, and I pretty much plopped it where it showed. Um, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Um, and, I, and I've been getting continuous, like, liners all night. Not continuous, but, you know, pretty um, consistent is the word I was looking for. Um, but, yeah, so just plopped it back out. I was still getting liners um, on the left rod, which is the one that's further out. Um, I've just had a line on that one that I've rechucked on that fucking fish's head, so <laughs> I kind of sat on my hands at the moment, um, you know, and they're proper like all the way up to the top, all the way back down, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sitting out as long as I dare, really. <laughs> I haven't got to rush back for anything, but, but yeah, I just wonder whether they've been in close all night, really. Uh, like I said, all, all night I've had liners. Um, you know, every now and again, it's been, you know, right up to the top, back down again. So it just makes me wonder if that's where they've been sat, you know, for whatever reason they're comfortable there. Um, but yeah, it's pretty exciting stuff, fishing close like that, especially when you see one that close. I mean, I all know really, all know better, because, you know, I've been fishing the pipe, and, and you know, time's gone past, and you always see them showing up over here. And, uh, and to be fair, when you're over there, it looks like they're showing in quite close. And that one definitely was uh, and I have caught them literally off the end of that pipe but that's been in the summer you know when that pipe's out of the water normally it's just because the water level is so high at the moment um, but I have literally caught them there you know and I think I've had two or three fish doing it like that um, so at the minute um, yeah I've got sort of three bases covered really out longer uh, in close where that fish rolled and then one literally in the flow of the pipe, which is a little, just not even under arm flick, just let the line out. <laughs> yeah, bizarre little cast, really. But what's that fizzing just there? Okay, now. Anyway, there's still time. I ain't packing up yet. I can't. Can't do it. There's too much of a good opportunity, I think. The wind's properly swung round. Um, See, we've got proper normally now, um, which is all right. It's trying to get out slowly. Um, you know, I don't know what you can see now because obviously I can't see the screen, but literally just like there, that fish rolled. And it's a, it a good fish as well. Sort of rolled, rolled across that way, facing away from you. There's a wide old fish. Ah, uh, yeah. It's got to sit on my arms, I reckon, for a bit anyway. Trouble is, how long do you give it, innit? I would love to do another night, but I've run out of a few of the essentials. Uh, toilet bags being one of them. I haven't got any other carrier bags at all. I've had a look. Uh, I have got a pot noodle and bits and bobs, so I could get away with a night. <sighs> we'll see. Watch this space, it could change. But um, if I haven't finished that bit, happy days on gone. Uh, make it all worthwhile then. <laughs> Getting trashed for the last 48 hours in rain, but. Um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, that's definitely what's been giving me long. They must have been up and down there all night, I reckon. <sighs> Fishing, eh? <laughs> Exciting stuff. Anyway, I'll update this as and when. Um, but if I don't, then it'll be tagged on to the next session. Come on, come on, fish. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this is going to pick this, it won't. Just here, literally here. You must be able to hear my alarms go. There is an absolute fucking rake of fish. I'm watching them do now. Fish, fucking fish, fish, all in front of there. Fuck's sake. I think you better see this on there. I just hope you can pick some of them up, I don't think you can. I, I can't even prepare to get my glasses out, because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I don't think you're picking them up. Look 
them are right in here. Right as close as you could possibly get. I could touch them. I could see 10 at least. Fucking hell, that was a bit ghosty there. Big mirror, big common. Fucking hell. I don't know what to do now. This is bonkers. Right, <clears throat> another little update. So, I've been watching these fish, the unbelievable amount of fish up and down, and like I put in that previous bit of video, um, I haven't watched it back, so I don't know if you can see them, but I've seen some proper nice fish, and I mean like, there, under my feet. Uh, but the only thing is, they don't really look like they're um, up for feeding. Uh, yeah, they're obviously coming in on that pipe, because now and again, you get like a, a load of, a load of um, yeah, dirty water come down it if you like. I'm not even sure where that pipe comes from to be honest, but uh, that's what they're interested in, 100%. But there is a little gravel area just to the right of the pipe. Um, yeah, so I've, I've dropped a few baits on that and uh, repositioned a rod on it. Uh, another one I've just got a little bit of corn on it literally it's just like there you know um i, I just can't believe the amount of fish i've seen some good ones and all there's a definitely a few fish i recognize uh, i think one of them might have been that common i had last week um i only seem to see one side of it it's, if i see the other side you've got like a not a black spot but it's definitely a recognizable mark on one's on the other side uh, but i haven't seen it yet um if it is that fish then there's at least at least ten, a dozen maybe a fish, uh fucking swan now. A fish the same size as that common, if it is a common I had. Um and they're all fairy pounders, you know what I mean? Yeah, keep going swan. I watch them bastards as well. Um yeah. Uh there's another one I recognised that I'd had, I don't know how long ago it was, twenty what are we in now? 23, so I reckon that was about 2018, 19. Um, big mirror with his big plates down its back, un, you know, unmistakable. Big, big um, row of scales all the way down its dorsal, either side. Um, yeah, I mean, I had him back then at 27 something. Um, you know, so he, it stands to reason he's probably, he's got to be mid furry, I reckon. Load of mid furry, uh, looking at him in the water. So yeah, there's a, there's a chunk of good fish, but they just don't look like they're interested in picking anything up, you know? I mean, one of them was trying to get out the pipe. <laughs> uh, yeah, typical inquisitive carp, aren't they, at the end of the day? Um, you know, you might be able to trick one up into feeding. Uh, I haven't, I'm not gonna give it much longer though. Um, like I said, from what we've seen, they're not, they're not interested in picking up baits. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those, isn't it? If they trigger into feeding, yeah, all one's inquisitive, or what's that? You know, you might know one. Um, but yeah, I don't think, judging by what I've observed, um, yeah, they're not in feeding mood, it's just inquisitive for that inflow of water, you know, because it's dirty, uh, it's clouding up the water. So, um, so yeah, but there's still time. I'm not gonna give it too much longer. Uh, everything's nicely sort of dried. Well, not dry, but it's drier than it was. <laughs> so yeah, um, but you never know. There's still a chance there's still baits out there, so fingers crossed. I won't get the fucking swans off it. At the moment they haven't found it, so that's good. But uh yeah. <laughs> I just can't believe the amount of fish was in in front of me. Right in the rod tips, it's like what? <sighs> there you go. Mass fishing for it. Alright. Well obviously I'm not on the bank. Right, so uh, those that know, obviously, it's the bank holiday weekend. Um, although, to be fair, this vlog probably won't go out for a while yet. Uh, as you can see, I'm busy knocking up some more base mix. Um, just on 10k now. So that'll be 10k of uh, ready to go base mix, basically. Um, yeah, it's just easier doing it like this, you know, knocking out all the dry ingredients. Then I've got, I can dunk straight in there. I've got my base mix uh, ready to go. Um, 
You can see there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different uh, powder ingredients. Uh, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine liquid ingredients. It just makes it easier if I got, you know, if I got half of it done when it comes to actually making out the boilie. Um, I've got half the work to do, technically. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's carnage at the moment. Um, yeah, we just got uh, a fresh shipment, basically, of uh, ingredients. So I thought, do you know what? Uh, it's a uh, bank holiday weekend. I'm going to give the angling a miss. Uh, I've got a Dyer's tournament anyway Sunday. Uh, so yeah, that'll be quite messy. Probably too many uh, tequila roses and ciders. That's what usually goes down. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, just thought, you know what? Um, this weekend, I'll uh, let the old solar power anglers have their little bit. And uh, I'll crack on and do some bait. I've got to do some bait anyway. I've probably got about, I think I've got five, five maybe seven kilos of bait. So it needs doing. Because um, obviously it's working, so we need to keep it going in. Um, so yeah, I'm in the process of doing this. My mate's uh, um, doing some corporal pop-ups, because um, he likes to use those, which is fair play. I've, I've made him up some paste. Uh, Christ, I that back in the summer, so obviously that's been froze. Um, just ordered a 16 mil rolling table as well. Um, yeah, just to mix up a bit, really. Um, I mean, nothing wrong with 18s, but obviously you get more baits per kilo of bait the maze if you know what I mean with the 16 so uh so yeah <coughs> that'll be all for my blog this week um probably what day is it tomorrow Friday so I might knock some out tomorrow uh I don't really need to vlog it because uh I've already done a bait one <coughs> oh, excuse me um yeah I might, I might do a little vlog we'll see how it goes but um yeah so that'll be me this weekend in the kitchen slaving away but we know it works so uh you've got to crack on with it any really Anyway, uh, that'll be it for now. But um, back on the beat, back on the beak, back on the bank next week. Uh, I plan to do three nights because uh, I haven't fished this week. But yeah, after last week of them fishing, yeah, just blew my head that did. Um, really didn't expect to see them like that. Well, I'm convinced it was just because of that pipe. Um, yeah, I'm sure they picked up a few baits and I'm half convinced I got done. Um, yeah, savage. Like the rod went round, bang, you know. Uh, and else I went and had a look and there was no fish about so whether so whether one had pricked herself and managed to get away with it uh, and spooked the rest off I don't know but uh, yeah shortly afterwards they returned I was like right <laughs> but unfortunately I said I had to get away I didn't have enough provisions um, vape juice stuff like that and it was just like so from now on I'll be prepared for doing three nights even if I only do two you know just spare water spare a bit of food um, stuff like that really Oh yeah, one thing I will add too, um, I was lucky to get home last session, we had that much rain, there's a lane that leads down to the lake, um, and it was at least a foot, it was just underneath a welly in depth, and I was like, fucking, and there's no way out, no other way out at all. Um, a lot of blokes had, uh, I say a lot of blokes, a few anglers that had left their cars in the lay-by with kit in, and I was like, I ain't doing that, and obviously I didn't have enough provisions, I needed to get home, so I walked the whole length of this road, uh, I don't know, I guess it felt quite a while, but maybe half a mile, probably less than that, because I was in wellies, you know what I mean? And I was thinking, right, so I measured it against my welly, <laughs> measured it against this door sill on my van, and it was just and just lower. Checked the front of the van, and I was like, right, there's nothing that's going to get damaged. Um, the air intake on my van's at the top of the engine. Uh, yeah, rung me step down, and I was like, what do you reckon? Because he's a mechanic, and he was like, yeah, you should be all right. He said, just take it steady, don't create a bow wave, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, fuck it. And uh, I went for it, and thankfully, the old cart bus made it through. Otherwise, I'd have been screwed, because I'd have been there for another couple of days, and I just didn't have any stuff, you know? I'd nothing. Uh, so, yeah, lesson learned. Next time, half spares in the van. I should know that already, really, but uh, there you go. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this little episode. But uh, I'll be sure to catch up with you either tomorrow or next week on the bank. But, yeah. Uh, Oi, oi, back on the bank, finally. Uh, always seems ages uh, from one week if I miss, if I miss a week. It seems fucking like ages, but uh, anyway. <coughs> I've done something different. I'm actually on a different lake, believe it or not. Um, so basically in light of all the rain we've had in the last, what, 24, 48 hours again, it's been fucking deluge. Uh, I decided to give Whistley a miss, mainly because of what happened last time. 
uh, yeah, I explained when I was doing my bait vlog that, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was proper flooded. Uh, and it's a mission round there, that standing water just doesn't seem to go. Um, and it's hard work, even with a power barrow, it's like, fuck it now. It's a mission. So, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to have a go on Flint. So I'm on Fire and Flint. And there's another reason behind it, if I'm honest. Uh, yesterday morning, I sat there having me coffee, checking the weather and all that, like, for this week's session. Oh, fuck it now. And it was two years ago, yesterday, that um, I had my first fish out of here, or first and only fish out of here. Um, yeah, 27, something common, I think. And I thought, it's got to be worth a look. You know what I mean? Even, even if I can't get in there, I'll, you know, there's bound to be somewhere I can slot in, still early days. Anyway, been a bit of fluky. And as you can see, it's like uh, Weymouth with the dolls. There's a reason for that, because there's been a mental fly hatch. Uh, they're proper gorging on it. I mean, the wind's dropped a little bit now, but it was fucking hammering down here. When I got here, I was like, oh, it's got to be done. And there was no one in there. Couldn't believe me luck. Um, yeah, I pulled it in the car park and there was one of the van. Uh, geezer just uh, getting his gear out of the van and that. And um, it was Oz, Oz Holness. Uh, and he's, I know he's been on there doing a bit after that common and that. Um, but he says it's his, his first trip back, um, so fair play. Um, yeah, I uh, had a brief chat with him, nothing much, just, you know, usual. Um, walked down to the Blue Pool Swim. Look nice down there, but there's somebody fishing like his little bay, sort of opposite. You're not really fishing the same water, but yeah, I don't know. I've got a thing about staring at other people in bivvies, <laughs> you know. Uh, so I thought, right, um, he was going to go and murder, which is next swim down, and it was fucking ripping in there. That went per perfectly ripping in there. Um, and I was like, yeah, fucking, I can't, I can't blame him for going in there. Uh, only trouble is it's quite shallow in front of there, but at the moment, it's bad because we've got no very minimal weed growth I expect uh, but I think he's gone in there or we might have gone down to Blue Pool so I don't know but it's been very quiet so it amazed me how much uh, kit he doesn't carry on his burrow oh, fucking hell <laughs> wish I could do that but yeah literally fuck all uh, so fair play so yeah uh, I'm just uh, believe it or not cooling down sweat my ass off the sun's banging in here um, I'm tucked away from the wind but it's fucking lovely it is banging so I ain't gonna go too mad. It looks like the swim's been fished fairly heavily recently. Um, I did clock a group of tufties diving earlier at a certain range, so I should be avoiding that. Um, and I've just looked on my, I've got the old Fox Swim Mapper, I've had it since it come out. Um, so I've got loads of swims on there from here, Pinge, Engi, uh, Whistley. So I've got, you know, they are, it is good to look back. Um, and basically, because it, obviously it was this time of year, as I said, um, yeah, I've still got the marks. So the trees look exactly the same as what they did. So I was like, right, I'm just going to go with what I done last time, which um, I don't know, I might change up a bit because there's so many birds that appear at the moment. Um, I'm trying to don't want to attract any attention to them. I mean, I'm not. I'm in no hurry to get the rods out anyway. But um, yes, last time I fished it, I was using um, a different take on our uh, squid. Uh, squid fish meal that we're using at the minute. Um, it was just a different base mix from, from a different company that we didn't make. Uh, but I caught on it, red fish meal, tipped with a little bit of yellow corn, and I even put a little bit of yellow out. I think I spotted just a little bit of corn out, and I've got some corn. So maybe it's a sign. I don't usually carry corn. Um, I don't know, I have for a couple of sessions and I hadn't just used it. And I was like, it's got to be done, hasn't it? <laughs> so we'll see. I might, I might do that over one rod. Um, but there's like two there's two barns that run across the front of there, not very far out, 12, 13 wraps. I think there's one a bit further there, about 15, 16. Um, and there's a gap, there's an island, this is like an L-shaped island, and there's a gap in the island that runs through to the, the hot swim on this lake, if you like, called the Long Chuck. Um, yeah, this time of year, it, it does loads of fish. It, it's always stitched up. It's like one out, one in all the time over there. Um, so it doesn't really interest me, that swim. And people walk past your bivvy in your rod in between your rods and your bivvy, I don't like that. So yeah, let, let them have that one. But um yeah, so the the, the the gap that goes through the island, I didn't even know that existed up until a year or so ago. So I fucking hell, I didn't know that. So again, if I can find that fire bar, do you know what I mean? Bottom bait, little stick, maybe something like that, nothing much. I don't wanna you know, I don't wanna 
don't want to have to use to find it or any other birds for that matter. Um, and being in the fact that it's shallow, I've got it in my phone, it's three and a half foot. You know what I mean? So, yeah, the fly hatch is going off. The fish are going to be on that for sure. Will they pick up a bait? Don't know. We'll see. So that's the plan anyway. So, yeah, just it's quite nice fish somewhere else, actually. Less for less uh, miles to travel. Um, yeah, because Whistley's another, what? It's got to be a good half an hour on, further on, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe quarter of an hour, 20 minutes. I don't know. Um, it's hard to tell sometimes. Um, but yeah, not only that, Sanford Lane all the way up to Whistley was flooded last time. You couldn't get through there. And we've had just as much rain. I was like, fuck it. I'll uh, let, it, let it settle down a bit and then keep my eye on the weather. If you don't get any more rain, I'll go back up there, you know? But anyway, um, so yeah, it's in a cool down. I might even make a brew actually before I uh, worry about getting the rods out. There ain't no rain. Don't even look, it's gonna rain. It's supposed to rain later on, but I'll make sure I'm sorted out before then. Um, yeah, fingers crossed, because you never know. You never know. See if history repeats itself, eh? Fuck off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I will say the weather conditions were pretty much the same. Because I remember this bivy was brand new then, the old Pioneer. And I think it, it, it wasn't the first session out. I'd done a couple over Earl Stoke. And uh, yeah, come here, and I've only just gotten a wrap, and it fucking snowed. Did it snow? No, Earl Stones. We had that yesterday. So it's the same conditions, bang on, you know? Anyway, yeah, I'll leave it there and uh, catch up later. Fuck it. This is the life tonight. Bass on the iPad. Rods in the water. And it's not fucking raining for once. Happy days. Uh, hopefully you can hear me over the top of that. Um, yeah, I uh, went with what I decided to, in the end, just go for uh, little three bait stringers on bottom boats. Um, all on the squid home maids obviously uh, tipped a bit of corn and there's been a lot of toughies in front of here today uh, not hanging around so much but you know diving and kept going back to the same spot I was like right unfortunately there are many areas in front of here um, but I already kind of knew that anyway just hedging me bets on my result I had a couple of years ago but you know crap a crap so you never know so yeah they're out and, uh, on the spots um, no barbecue tonight, although I wish I had it done. So they give rain, but not anymore, apparently, which is typical. Otherwise, I would have had the first barbecue of the year. But yeah, maybe next session. Mind you, it's not, not like we ain't got a lot of uh, plenty of time to do that. Um, yeah, so I'm yeah, just going to chill out now. Wait for it to get dark, cut the ciders. Um, got a choice of either a chicken bolty. Uh, with garlic naan breads to dunk, or I've got a choice. Um, well, I've got southern fried chicken fillets um, wraps, so I might even do that yet. Probably be honest, if not, it'd be a curry, <laughs> nice and easy. Um, the start off the day not good, actually. I didn't say this earlier. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've done my uh, usual um, routine laboratory, my guts were savage. Actually, to be fair, they're all right. And I went to load my gear up, and I thought, cool, guts ain't good. Uh, yeah, and I thought, on the way back, so I've got to go back past my house to, uh, to come up here. Um, it's a good job I stopped in, put it that way. Fuck me. Yeah, not good. So I don't know what I had yesterday. Probably a kebab, um, which wasn't, I don't know. But yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. So, uh, bit too much information but I've been scared to fart all day uh, but but now I'm more right, it appears so anyway so yeah back to normal cut the ciders curry sort that out a bit of uh, chili powder in it happy days anyway I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna watch the dart listen to Mr. Robin singing away uh yeah have a cut the ciders fingers crossed oh yeah just out of um just out of interest really uh that fish I had out of here a couple of years ago uh, as I said earlier, that was at 8 o'clock at night, so I should be uh, ready for it, which is not far away, actually. Although, interesting, I was trying to know what time it is, but I can't. Interestingly enough, um, don't remember it being daylight, and pretty much 8 o'clock's daylight now, isn't it? Still. All, yeah, all but. 
So yeah, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it was maybe it was dark once I'd sorted it out and all the rest of it because the pictures are in, in the dark. So, but yeah. Anyway, enough rambling. Just keep your fingers crossed, and uh, you never know. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Fuck it. Morning. Start the day right with a nice fresh coffee. <clears throat> That's just my second, but uh, yeah, it's time to wake up. Um, I think I was up just on light actually. Um, can't remember what time it was. Uh, five hour five, something like that. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Quite a night, really. Um, did have a couple of occurrences on my middle rod, uh, which is fishing the same spot um, as my left hand rod. <clears throat> Well, I have slid out a little dinky, uh, well, I don't know, I think they're avid back legs, little tiny things. Um, but after I did it, I was like, hmm, is that such a good idea? Because there is a few crayfish in there. I was thinking them little fuckers get tangled up in it, you know, carnage, especially in the dark. Um, but yeah, I did have a couple of quite savage liners, so I don't know whether, whether it was them little critters on the bottom. Um, although, I shouldn't imagine they'd be savage liners. So, uh, so yeah, somewhere between me and 12.2 wraps, uh, there was activity. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I only slide them out, sort of, I don't know, rod length off the end of the rod, uh, just keep the line out of the way if you do have a fish. You know, it's just, it's just one, one less thing to worry about. But, uh, yeah, it's another vow last night. Um, I did sit here contemplating whether, uh, oops, keep getting the cameras out. Um, yeah, because I did initially I didn't really put any bait out, um, just cast out three three bait stringers. Uh, I did sit there, and, you know, and uh, anyway, I watched them group of tufties that I was saying about, <clears throat> and they, I don't really know what they're, I don't know whether it's a mating thing, but there's a big posse of them, um, and they're diving all together, but then they're like, squabbling as well, so. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not convinced they were actually diving on a spot in front of me. You know, it looked like a similar area, but I don't think it was because of that. Because of bait. So uh, about eight, eight o'clock last night, I was like, Do you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of ground bait out. Bit, bit of ground bait, bit of crush boilie. Um, I probably said before, my ground bait just consists of um, a method mix. Um, it's like a fishy, spicy uh, method mix that I get from a bait. So we got our base mix from for the boilie. So yeah, just a, a bit of that that's had quite a bit of oil get, gone into it. Well, more hydro slates than oil, to be to be honest. In fact, I don't know if I might have had a little bit of winterized salmon oil in there. Uh, I can't remember now, but yeah. So it, yeah, it's proper laced up with hydro slates, stuff like that. Um, and a few scoops of boily crumb. So not a lot of food, just a bit of stink in the water, really. Uh, it's a mind thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always happier fishing over a little bit of bait. Um, but yeah, nothing to say last night, and as, and as yet today. Um, what's that floating about? A lot of things floating about. <laughs> Random things like halves of trees and shit like that. Actually, that might be a bird. You tuck these right up. Little buggers. But yeah, so nothing to report really. I look half asleep, it's because I am. Um, the hay fever is already starting to take hold, believe it or not. I know we're only in April, but I do get, I do suffer from it. I'm after looking to get an injection, I think this year, if I can. Um, yeah, cause my eyes and the nose just, yeah. <laughs> Later on, you'll see in the videos, it's like fucking hell. Even more red eye than I am now. You know what I mean? But anyway, yeah. So I'm just gonna kick back, have me coffee. Uh, I might even have a little wander around later on. Cause I haven't walked around here for fucking ages. And it is a nice lake, very very swimmy lake, you know, or either one end or the other. So there's only a sort of handful of swims you want to be in, really. Um, and they're usually stitched up, to be fair. Uh, so I'll sort of round to my right is a uh, very popular swim mound. It's called the Mound. Usually always occupied. Um, I did contemplate it yesterday. Um, yeah, and I kind of wish I did really. Just gives me a bit more open water fish. You know what I mean? Um, kind of know the spots out of there, or we'll say the spots, the areas. Not that I've caught from them, but you know they're, they're nice, obvious features. You know, silt and uh, there's a little hump around, sort of to the left of the swim. It's not hittable from any other swim. You know what I mean? So 
one of them really but yeah I, I might have a little warmer later on um the rain surprised me this morning <laughs> um well, fortunately i was awake but i had four miles the open front so i was you know seeing and hearing things going on uh not that anything did but yeah it started pissing now i was like well look at me phone oh fucking hell so it ch totally changed from what i said yesterday so uh I'll jump out a bit quick batten down the hatches a bit um but yeah it's quite nice now overcast uh, but not raining we we're due to get some more but the wind just switched now as you can see i mean it was coming in right to left yesterday um and now it's going left to right <clears throat> so yeah stuck at uh, more than easterly east southeast apparently the old bedding cart do like a bit of a southeast um i know they're doing whistly <laughs> That's for definite, those fish I had back in December, it was proper south southeast, and it was free. Actually, no, it was a northeast, and it's bloody freezing, but didn't bother them. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Not a lot, really. Um, mental fly hatches going off everywhere yesterday, sort of late last night, before it got dark. Um, the birds have left me alone so far, so that's good. Um, so, yeah, if I do put any more bait out, it'll probably be just a bit of ground bait and that, you know rather than hold boilies so they doesn't attract their attention so much <clears throat> i'm sure they smell it though uh yeah so that's it really not a lot else to say i'm gonna have my coffee all fingers and bones it's a pain in the ass doing it like this but yeah um there's still a chance there's still a chance every time all the time sorry all the time the rods are in the water there's always a chance um like i said it's what's it on here 20 I think it's 20, I think it's 27 acres as well, 25 acres. And again, you've only got like 150, 200 fish, which sounds quite a lot. But when you've got islands and parts of the lake you can't get to, you know, uh, crayfish, birds, pressure, they're always pressured, these fish, always somebody on there. Um, and the good swims, like, you know. Uh, yeah, it's no mean feat, but you never know. I keep saying that, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I need to, uh, it'd be nice to catch out of here on our bait. Um, because everyone I've taken it so far, done business, so yeah, we'll wait and see. Don't hold your breath, <laughs> fuck it. Morning, give you a different view for a change rather than my mug. Well, needless to say, blankety blank, <laughs> still, it's all part of it, isn't it? Um. What a shitty, miserable day it was yesterday. Uh, yeah, I couldn't decide if it was going to rain or not. Uh, so in the end, I decided on a lap. I say a lap, you can't do a complete lap of this, but near enough. So you got to double back on yourself, basically. So technically, I've done two laps. <laughs> um, yeah, very quiet. Um, oh, I can't ramble away while I was looking at that all the time. Although it's better than looking at this, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Um, dead, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, it, it, it rained and rained and rained and rained. So I thought, you know what, early night, I watched some on the iPad, which I couldn't get the charge for some reason. Uh, I think I buggered one of the ports on my uh, Ridge Monkey Power Pack. But I have had it a long time, so I have been in, in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, you better replace that at some point, because things like that just go, don't they? No warning, just dead. Well, that's what happened, man. Why look? So yeah, more expense, but uh, <clears throat> I have got my uh, uh, battery off my barrow. Got a little connection for that. I can plug my phone into and that to get out of jail. So I've done that last night. Um, I mean, the power pack's still working, but only on one port, and I need to have a, like a vape mod on charge all the time, which is a pain in the ass. So if I want to charge my phone, obviously I need another port. So yeah, we have to look into that, but. Uh, yeah, it was worth a try on it, wasn't it, at the end of the day. Like I said, it was a couple of years ago, I had that fish out of here, exactly the same time. But yeah, to no avail this time, so there you go, it is what it is. Uh, gonna have me fresh coffee, and uh, no rush to pack up. It's supposed to be dry today, uh, just over the car, so hopefully a little bit of wind. Um, we'll try to kit out a bit, and well, it's dried out quite well already, to be fair. Poor old kit, sick of the white out there this winter, but uh, Again, that's what it's designed for, isn't it? Getting minging and wet. <laughs> it's just a pain in the ass for us not drying it out. But, uh, yeah, um, 
there's no point in me rambling too much about on air because I don't know whether I'm going to continue on air or not or go back at Whistley really. Probably go back at Whistley for a while um, until it gets busy. Um, everywhere's going to get busy in a minute, and it? it's you know, good weather's coming. So, yeah, I uh, won't ramble too much, but there was a few on yesterday. Um, probably a few less than I expected, but it's one of them places where really, you know, there's a handful of swims you really want to be in. <coughs> um, but yeah, it's one of those that's always stitched. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to drink the coffee. Uh, unless anything happens in the next couple of hours, then uh, I'll just put it on there. If not, I'll catch you next time. Back out. Wow, wow, wow. It's a bit more like it, innit? Skies are blue. No red roses too, but you get the gist. I'll tell you what, it is absolutely stunning up here at the minute. Yeah, it makes you glad to be alive. And spring is 100% broke now. Sprung, broke. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> So, uh, the old ground bait and boilie chop fermenting away in a minute. I ain't got the rods out yet. Um, I've just been, yeah, taking me time really. Uh, sorting out my rigs. They're all hung up there, ready to rock and roll. Uh, a cup of tea. I'll tell you what, it is lovely. Nice southeasterly winds. Um, yeah, hatches going off left, right, and center. Fish seem to be pretty much all over the place. Um, Old Stevie's down the shallows um, in a swim called Budgies, I think it's called. I don't know why it's called that, but um, yeah, it's a swim I had my first 30 pounder out of there, actually. I think it was my first, was it my first or second fish? First night we ever fished it, I had two, a brace, mid 20, and a 30 pounder. But I believe out of 30 is, I don't know, it was one of the 40s now, I think. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, it's looking banging, isn't it? Oh there. Yeah, so uh just gonna have my cup of tea. I'm gonna get the rods out in a minute just before that sun starts to drop because uh <laughs> yeah if I don't time it right I can't get my rods out until the sun's proper gone because it's just blinding basically. Um but yeah, uh obviously I'm in a point swim. Uh managed to get the rods out. No, I mean, it's proper flooded this swim, is more worse so than it was last time I was up there. Um, but I managed to get the pod set up on the high stick, so yeah, it's alright, it's all good. Um, yeah, what else? What else? Not a lot really. Um, I've got a barbecue tonight, first barbecue on the bank of the year, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, nothing too extravagant. I've got mushrooms, some chicken, marinated chicken strips, so I'm gonna chop up and do his uh, kebabs. Got some kebab sticks that I ain't even used yet, I bought them last year. Uh, and just some bangers basically so it'll be hot, hot dogs that do me uh and obviously i've got a few cans of cider only only four so it'll be two tonight two tomorrow <laughs> uh yeah absolutely stunning i mean i'm in my shorts uh, happy days yeah it won't be long before I'm moaning because it's too hot you know what i mean but uh <laughs> yeah it is what it is um great day for drawing bits and bobs out that i had a chance to dry out either so yeah I'm just gonna have my tea, get my rods out, and I will uh, no doubt update this later when you're Barbie sizzling. Um, yeah, got put a shout out to Tom Pollard as well, Cotswolds Rods, you're a legend, mate. Sort of out a new mesh in my net. Um, I don't know if I said in the previous blog, but 200 odd quiz over a century net, and the fucking mesh was shit, absolute dog shit. Um, so yeah, and he sorted me out one, chucked me one in a post, so happy days. Um, G Force or something. Um, yeah, nice quality, decent quality net, hasn't got bits hanging off it and fucking all the rest of it. So yeah, nice one Tom for that, you're a ledge mate. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to suck my tea, um, get the rods out, uh, like I said, and then uh, I'm going to bait up till later on. I should probably leave that before it gets dark whilst the barbie's doing, I reckon. Uh, yeah, ready for the morning, hopefully, we'll have a result, uh, we'll see. But anyway, I'll keep us posted uh, later on. Keep it posted, updated, and uh, see what happens. But yeah, it's lush. I love it. Let's get the old spring back. Happy days. Fuck okay. Jesus Christ. Talk about turnaround. <laughs> yes, it is the same day. And if you listen carefully, yes, that is rain on the bivvy. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm just getting set up for the first uh, Barbie of the year. 
Just got some kebabs prepped up. Good old bucket lid. Yes, I did wash off with hot water first. <laughs> yeah, uh, what a bastard. Um, it's, it's not it's not supposed to last, but I'll believe that when I see it. Um, the local weather is saying a bit of a deluge for however long, not long. Um, but then it's saying might do, maybe, you know what I mean? Must be female. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but yeah, so I'm gonna hang fire for a minute, but uh, they're about to go on that along with a couple of bangers. Hopefully, hopefully, you'd never have guessed it earlier. It's fucking well, you can see the previous blog wall to wall sunshine, blue skies, roasting, and now it's like back to winter again. <laughs> so, yeah, fooled you, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll get away with it. Um, I'm not gonna say it because I'll jink myself, but <laughs> yeah, I've not had a failed attempt yet. There you go, I've said it. So uh, we'll see. Anyway, <sighs> come on, fuck off, rain. Let me have my Barbie, and you can rain as much as you want. <laughs> Later's. Well, all is right with the world again. The rain stopped. The barbecue's on. Done us on the iPad. Happy days. <laughs> Morning. Well, what a difference a day makes. <laughs> As you can see, I mean, we're already at now. Um, yeah, false spring, as they call it. Yesterday was beautiful. And today, it's pretty drizzle. It's a uh, light rain uh, for at least half a day, they reckon. Uh, yeah, I suppose I better start by saying a blank. Blankety blank, yeah, very quiet night. I had a couple of bleats on a right hand rod. Um, but I am using, like I said before, a little, little back lead um, in close just to make it easier to do catch a fish in the darkness. Um, yeah, so it could have been anything really in the margins, whatever, but um, I ain't seen nothing. Um, yeah, nothing at all, which surprised me really because they were really active yesterday down, down the other end of the lake, the shallows. So yeah, you just think, oh, <clears throat> they'll migrate back up here at night, but they haven't. Well, not as far as me, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure if anybody else had anything, I'd, I'd try to keep myself to myself a little bit up here, really. Um, yeah, not that I'm hiding anything, but I don't go, oh, I had anything, mate, I had anything, mate. You know what I mean? I'm not, yeah, it's just not my thing, really. But, uh, you know, if somebody chats and have a chat, or exchange information, no problem at all, you know what I mean? Um, if, if they want to do the same, then happy days. If they don't, they don't, you know. I'm not too worried, really. Uh, but I'd be surprised if fish hadn't been out. Um, yeah, because they definitely used a lot of energy yesterday, moving about, chucking themselves about like they were. But uh, it's still early days. We're still not into May yet. So, uh, yeah, you've got to remember that. we got them days like we had yesterday. I mean, I'm still in my shorts now, but I don't really feel the cold that much. Uh, what I have on my head, for some reason, but not my legs, but yeah. So I'm on, on my second coffee. Uh, I'm just going to leave the rods out, I think, because I have had bites out of this swim up till midday uh, in the past. Can't remember for life in what time of year it was, but um, yeah, I've had bites up till midday on more than one occasion. So I think it's worth sitting on them, keeping the area quiet. Um, yeah, see what happens, I suppose, throughout the day. But I should update this later on. I had the barbecue in the end last night. I can't remember if I vlogged it or not. Um, bit of a fucking pain in the ass really because it's rained and rained uh yeah and then it decided to stop by half hour before dark so yeah a bit of a rush job really but some nice home homemade kebabs cut the bangers on a roll happy days it'll be the same again tonight and uh there is no rain forecast tonight so fingers crossed i'll get uh get the barbecue at a sensible time you know what i mean <laughs> but anyway i'll uh update this later on fuck uh evening well, I'm not as red as what my phone's making out. Well, at least I don't think I am. No, I can't be. It's been raining more than half a fucking day. <laughs> yeah, shocking start to the day. But, excuse all fingers and thumbs, it's the usual. Look at that. It's going to be a lovely, jubbly sunset. It already is, to be fair. So, on the fishing front, clearly, uh, I'd fuck all, otherwise there'd be a vlog before this. Um, but there has been a free fish out, um, one opposite, and 
to the next one down to my left. Uh, yeah, fair play to him. Um, no idea um, with the size of the other two, but mate, yeah, I've, um, I've done the pictures for him this morning. 34 mirror, banger as well. Yeah, we're very nice fish. Um, yeah, you reckon as you see him showing like fuck last night in front of the beach, but because of like this here tree and bush, I didn't see any of that. Um, so yeah, um, I did hear a couple last night, pretty sure. Um, so yeah, but it's one of them, I think them, the fish get round, on there, I think they get round in sort of fairly big packs from what I've seen. Um, I think they come across here, they'll have it. If they don't, they don't, you know? Um, yeah, but it's just weird how they've gone to him. <laughs> Missed me and gone opposite, opposite side of the lake, but I don't know, just don't know what route they take there. Um, yeah, it's one of them. Or a separate pack of fish, two separate packs of fish, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad it stopped fucking raining, finally. Just things have gone on and on and on this weather. And I'd rather it be cold and sunny than pissing down all the time. Yeah, it's getting a bit of a ball ache, packing up in the rain or setting up in the rain and or getting away, you know, semi drawing up to dry your kit out all week. Well, a couple of days and you turn around and pack them all back away again ready for the next session you know can I go in sometimes um, <laughs> believe it or not but anyway I just had a nice barbie um, some pork and pepper kebabs um, a nice big fat chicken breast uh, Cajun chicken breast that I had left from last night and it was a lot more successful than last night's barbie as well because it was that rain but it pissed me off ended up waiting for that um, I ain't even lit it by now I think I didn't light it until about 8 o'clock yeah, way, way later than I wanted it, really. Um, and I also had two hot dogs, which is nice. So, yeah, um, good belly full. Happy days. I've now got a double chocolate mocha um, with the old Beckford's rum chucked in for good measure. And I just suck that. And as soon as it gets dark, um, yes, head down, I reckon. What is weird, what I did notice is, uh, obviously, there's three fish come out middle of the day. Uh, today, actually no, no mate. His first fish was this morning, but it's still daylight, you know. So yeah, he had one in the middle of the day, within half an hour of mate he having one opposite. So it just goes to show that it's separate packs of fish going around, you know. Um, they certainly ain't all together. Um, so yeah, um, I think they were both. I'm trying to think back now, it must have been around a mid. It was raining, both both raining. Uh, so it must have been around. I don't know, somewhere between midday and two o'clock, something like that. So that's worth remembering. Um, yeah, so it just goes to show they are they are feeding. And uh, not just on natural either. Um, I mean, Steve's just done two nights and blank down the bottom. So there you go. Um, but you just keep on, don't you? I've put a bit more bait out, redone the rods, obviously, refreshed the rigs. Uh, got an old throwing stick earlier on, just, um, just to spread a few baits a bit more than you can with a spawn. Not keen on spawns, I've got to be honest. If I could get, if I could get a device where you count the throwing stick, but you know what I mean. Uh, you, you've got to be quite accurate at the throwing. Not accurate. What, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you got to use them a lot to become sufficient with them. Efficient, sufficient, efficient. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, I don't use mine that much. But I might start. I mean, I put that bait out earlier. Not one seagull, but then. They're probably gorged on the naturals like the fish are, so they ain't overly hungry, you know. But um, yeah, it's one of them really. Um, I'm gonna have to start using it more, even if it's dark, you know. Um, wait for it to get dark, throw a stick. As long as you get, as long as you've got an idea of your range. Um, Say, so, hey, wraps is quite sensible, really, with a throw a stick. Um, yeah, I think it's the way forward, rather than just pile as a bait, you know. Um, not keen on that idea. Not really. I like the idea of tight baiting. Um, yeah, but I just think with tight baiting, you're only going to get a bite if they come over it, you know? Um, if they don't, if, you, you know, if you've got a bed spread out, bait, we are fucking words out? Bait and spread out, they're picking one and then they're, they're looking, you know? You know, if you've got bait, like single ball you spread about, I don't know, I just think it's the one. Um, you know, I do like using the ground bait, but I think maybe later on, you know, when they're more active than what they are now. Um, you know, big beds of ground bait and boilie and stuff like that to hold them there, you know. Um, 
I think you can do that on here to an extent. I mean, the other week when I had those three fish, it was obviously a pack of fish, and I picked all three of them, you know? Because um, the bite was, all the bites were within an hour, hour and a half, I think. Might have been a little bit, I think the first one was the earliest, yeah, no, tell a lie. It was still dark when I had that, I think. And then the other two were up in quick succession, you know? So, um, it just shows that you can, you know, hold fish in a swim with ground bait. Um, and you can still pick them off if you play them, play them insensible, you know? Don't know, I'm just rambling shit now, really, but I'm trying to put a bit of content together. And we're hoping that tomorrow or tonight or whenever, um, we'll have one. It'd be nice. I'd be a bit gutted if I don't, because, uh, like I said, mate, you'd be honest, caught, mate, you're opposite. I don't know about anybody else. I don't know if there's anybody else on the lake, to be honest, but yeah, no doubt I'll find out by the time I do the sorry walk back to the van in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'll give you one last look at that little sunset. Look at that. It's weird because I, I remember the sun, I thought I remember the sun going down around there a bit more, but obviously not. So that is a true easterly over there. Um, yeah, that is a true easterly. The sun don't lie, does it? Excuse all fingers and thumbs, but yeah. Anyway, um, I've got a couple more sessions here, and then we've got a week booked on the mirror. Not the mirror, as in black mirror of the mirror, but uh, Ash Bradbury's place, Ashbury Fisheries. Um, got a week on there from Wayner, my cousin. I'll plug him in a minute because he's got a YouTube channel. Uh, what a load of carp. Worth a watch. He is funny, our Wayner, and he does catch them, he does get amongst them. Um, yeah, especially more so recently. Um, so yeah, have a little look. Um, yeah, so obviously I'll do a little bit of vlogging at the mirror. Uh, it, it won't be continuous, but you know, hopefully we'll have a few, you know, up to mid forties, I think. Um, fair, fair size, uh, a fair amount of fish. I think it's, I don't think it's even 10 acres, but loads of little uh, sort of bays and islands and stuff like that, I think, by the look of it. So it should make it interesting, good social. You know, that's why we're doing it really Wayne's birthday so so yeah anyway I'm rambling like shit I can all be new I'm tired because I first woke up at 20 to 5 this morning I cut the bleeps um, yeah I was half expecting it I stayed up and had a brew actually <laughs> uh, by half 6 I was like fuck this going back to sleep and uh, yeah just as well I did because nothing happened anyway I'm off and hopefully we'll update this later on if not see you next time fuck it don't forget to like and share or subscribe or whatever. Be much appreciated. Afternoon. Wow, I'm back for another session of camping. <laughs> That's what it seems to be like the last, what, two sessions, eh? Two, three sessions, can't remember now. Uh, so, yeah, I bought here about, I don't know, I must have got here around about lunchtime, sort of 12. No, about, no, it's a bit earlier than that. Yeah, about 11, I think I got here after 10, 11, something like that. Um, Steve's on as well, um, so I'm in the old pipe swim, uh, so opposite was where I was last week, those that you keep, um, we've got a sharp mind, <laughs> might remember, so basically I, I, all I'm doing is trying to rotate uh, the sides of the lake really, because um, you're all but fishing the same sort of area um, from here. This is what you are as the point. I mean, the point, to be fair, probably far to right, but the silt channel that I fish is yeah, running straight through here. Um, thinking it might be a slightly diagonal sort of um, from the from the point to here, but it's definitely uh, closer in here than it was than it is from fishing it from the point side. Um, you know, it's not exactly the same area, but yeah, it's definitely on that same sort of feature. Uh, right hand rod round where it usually is in a nice little silt, silt gully um, Steve's down in the beach which is the next swim down from here there's probably a good, I don't know, 150 yard 200 yard margin between me and him um, and we think we're on the same sort of feature which is good because obviously we're on, both on the same bait um, so yeah, it's, it's getting plenty of the bait up here uh, I think there's one or two others that are on their own homemades as well so fair play, you know um, yeah, sort of duking it out against each other if you like, unbeknowingly obviously, but uh, yeah, it's good. Um, I think making your own baits the way forward, rather than spending fucking whatever it is now, I don't know, it must be 10, 12 quid a kilo uh, for shop bought stuff. Fuck that. Yeah, I, I can't afford to be chucking that much at bait, which is on bait, which is why I made my own. Um, 
yeah, it's just a uh, decent gear. And, uh, you know, watching it, um, like I said before, it's way forward in my opinion. Don't know why I didn't do it years ago, really. Um, but there you go. Um, so, yeah, like I said, in the pipe swim, all three rods are out. Um, just in the nick of time, really. Um, as I was putting them out, I started spitting the rain, like real fine rain. Um, and the last few spawned one out, it started pissing down properly, so I timed it right. <laughs> Um, I knew it was coming in today, the weather. Obviously, keep my eyes on the weather before I get here. Um, so I know what I'm up against, really. But the old place is starting to dry out, or it was. Um, we're supposed to be getting a fair bit of rain tonight, which ain't ideal. Um, but yeah, the track the track around there is slowly but surely uh, sorting itself out. Um, but yeah, every time it seems to dry out, it seems to get fucking loads of rain again. I've never known a March, April be so wet, I don't think. Probably has been, but it's like fucking hell. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's all changed really from the weekend. Supposed to be up to like 18, 19 degrees, so proper spring. Um, I just want to get one of these big ones out, man, before they spawn. One of the 40s would be nice. Uh, like I said I've no idea really how many there is in here. It's, it's got to be more than one. Um, yeah, but you never know, do you? Till you catch them or till you see it on the bank yourself do pictures whatever uh, witness it you just don't know yeah um, so yeah uh, obviously I've got my eye on closed on this pipe um, those of you know will know that the session I had in here I don't know it was cut three weeks ago it must be now uh, when, the, when the water was gushing in but it was on you know you couldn't see it because it's underwater but you can see the vortexes and that um, yeah and I had all the fish in front of my fucking rod <laughs> driving me bonkers they were but they just weren't up for feeding, you know. Um, not of any gusto anyway, but uh, I'll keep my eye on that. I've got uh, my rod that fishes out to the right. Um, yeah, sort of fishes, uh, the line's going through where the flow would come from that pipe, although it's not flowing at the moment. There's a little bit of a flow coming out of it, but not, not substantial enough. Um, yeah, I've put a little bit of bait just in close just to see if I get any liners from it. And obviously if I do, like last time, I should be fucking winding one, or if not two, enclosed plot, end of the rod tip jobs, you know? It's got to be worth a go, innit? Never know. Um, and I have dropped a little bit of bait in there. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure other people are doing it. If they end, I'd be surprised. Uh, very surprised, because it's it's prime. Um, i kind of show you here, so basically where this tree ends. I was watching the other week and air up and down, up and down, fucking loads of them, you know? Um, yeah, must have been at least 20, 25 different fish up and down like a train, just going through, going through, then going back through, back through, you know. Um, so they're up and down it. Um, and this margin goes right the way down to the next swim, which is say 150, 200 yards away. Um, and obviously there's no other way of getting into this, this margin. So yeah, it's got to be worth a bait. I mean, I haven't put one on them now, uh, but I have dropped a little bit of bait in there just, you know, just to see if I get any liners. And I just think, right, okay. Um, wind one in, you know, got three rods, so might as well capitalise on what, what you find out in it, really. Looks like the old rain's coming back in. Um, you just loaded the old cob up, and one thing, sorry, it's all fingers and thumbs again. Shit, technology. Well, not technology, but <laughs> manoeuvring the camera about. But um, yeah, the other week I used a cob uh, when I was in the point swim, and uh, the weather was all over the gaff. And, and, and I managed to, I mean, I lit it outside, you know, got it going. So, you know, the smoke and that from uh, the charcoal had gone. And then I lifted it inside and had it in the bivy. Obviously, I had the door down. You know, I ain't stupid enough to zip it up. I might look stupid by the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I had it on letterbox and it was fine. Absolutely fine. Because um, obviously you can pick pick it up, don't get hot underneath. Oh, it was fucking sweet. Actually, oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, it, it, was, it was spot on. Um, so yeah, I should do the same this week if, if the rain continues. I'll light that outside, get it get it established so it ain't smoking, and then just lift it in there. Chuck, um, I forgot tonight, beef and onion pie, triple cooked chips, peas and gravy. Happy days. <laughs> I've had it before, so I know it works. Um, yeah, and tomorrow night we've got a uh, chicken veggie, uh, petite, uh, petite pizza with garlic bread. So I know, I know that works as well. So chuck the old uh, pizza stone on happy days um so yeah that is the plan food wise um nothing fancy pointless keep doing a bar bringing a barbecue at the moment because it's like fucking weather <laughs> i 
you know, one minute it's barbecue weather, one minute it's not all over. We've only had a couple of nice days, haven't we, really? Um, nothing prolonged sort of periods of nice weather, but that's all right, because as long as we ain't got that, they ain't thinking about spawning just yet, you know? But I'd dearly have, love to have one of these bigger ones out. Um, it won't be long before I'm buggering off back down Pinge, really. Um, probably bef before the new ticket starts, uh, which is in June. So, yeah, I'd like to get back down there, really, and trying to get amongst the you know, a couple of them decent ones down there. Or, if not Pinge, then Flint, maybe. Depends, just depends. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be the same as what it is every year, just fucking carnage. Uh, but, yeah, we keep trying, don't we? That's all it's all about. But, anyway, I'll update this later, probably whilst I'm uh, watching the darts on the iPad, having a couple of ciders, and waiting for the pie and chips. <laughs> Fucker. What we got in here, then? Lovely, jubbly. <laughs> Just waiting for the old gravy. Well, water to boil. Fuck it. Morning. Well, that was uh, a quiet night. Hay fever's battering me already. Um, <laughs> yeah, antihistamines don't seem to cut it with me. Need to get that injection, I reckon. Uh, yeah, quiet night. Other than the rain, fucking piss down again. It's mad, isn't it, this year? March, April, fuck me. April showers ain't the word, I don't think, but uh, apparently, according to my weather app, that is it for the foreseeable. Uh, still very cloudy, but uh, yeah, not supposed to get any more now. So hopefully, uh, it'll start to dry out slowly but surely. Um, yeah, like I said, very quiet night on the rods. Um, like I said, Steve's down to my right, and he can see up up the lake to my left. Um, to be fair, I'm a little bit restricted in this one with what I can see of the lake. Unless it's directly in front of me. Uh, but he reckons to see a good fish this morning down to my left. Um, just a one so like, you know. I think he's seen two shows. Um, I've seen something very subtle out in front of me. But, again, can't be sure. I didn't 100% see it. I've seen the aftermath, you know. Uh, yeah, so other than that, all quiet. Um, but, I did enjoy the pie and chips and gravy last night. I went to have a treat. Um... That cob, I know I've probably said it before, but obviously it was raining yesterday and it was coming pretty much straight in there, sort of southeasterly. Uh, so I lit it, got the coals going, let the smoke die down, put it inside the biv, door half mast, fucking perfect. Kept it warm in there, wasn't even smoky at all, really. Um, no, I don't think I smell like a pikey, but <laughs> yeah, it, it just works a treat. Um, let's say if there's a chance of rain, it's the way forward, I reckon. Uh, so yeah, that'll be going with me next week. Off up to Essex next week. Um, the Mirror, I believe it's called. Um, Ashbury Fisheries for my cousin Wainer's uh, 40th birthday. Uh, we said it before, I don't know if I plugged this channel before, but he's got a, a YouTube channel, uh, What a Load of Carp, so have a look. Um, yeah, definitely worth a watch. Um, so yeah, there ain't a lot else to say this morning really. There's still a chance of a bite, obviously. Um, when we were on last week, well, the lad that was in there and the one that was to my left in the scaffold. Um, I don't know what time it was now, but I think it was around midday, sort of 10, 11, no, about 10, 11 o'clock. I think about 11 o'clock. Um, and they'd had a fish sort of simultaneously, so opposite sides of the lake. Um, yeah, one thing I have noticed is there don't seem to be uh, as many bugs and that about so yeah like the swallows are flying higher um they're not skimming the water so i don't think there's any ashes going off at the minute so that might help um yeah you can't blame the old fish getting on the naturals uh that's what they do naturally <laughs> funny enough but yeah i'm sure they'll uh i'm sure they'll have a munch on the old boilies if they come across them it's just if and when they come across them innit? that's the old the old thing um you know, I know it's the time of year really to be slinging bright singles about, but you know, and I dare say I miss opportunities by not doing it. But I just stick with what I know really, what I'm comfortable with, uh, and what I'm confident in as well. And I know it works. Um, obviously, those fish I had the other week, you know, free in the space of half an hour, can bonkers really. But it just goes to show if they do come across, they, they, you know, you've got a good chance of picking up, you know, probably more than one fish and all, to be fair. But uh, anyway, I won't ramble on too long. You can tell the A fever's getting into my nose already. It does my nut. 
<clears throat> it's like having a cold light, you know. Those that uh, suffer from it and know exactly what I mean. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, Steve's off today, so uh, it'll be a quiet one in here. Well, it's a quiet one last night, to be fair. Um, let's say we don't, you can't really social anymore because, you, you know, it's fair enough, you shouldn't be off your rods. So we don't we do not do that anymore. Uh, we used to, you know what I mean? But things are dipping then. <laughs> uh, all these rules come in and then shit changes, done it. But it's what it is. I mean, we had a bit of brew when I got up here. Um, and then I went down and had another brew before I put my rods out. Um, so yeah, it's all good. And battles of fours on WhatsApp. You know, see what he's seen, see what I've seen. Um, it's not a lot between us, really. So yeah, anyway, um, the sun's trying his hardest to come out, which would be nice. Everything's trashed on there. Look at that, all that side of the bivvy. Fucking minging, it's like sand. It's weird. But uh, I do carry a dustpan brush just to brush everything off. People say, oh, fucking hell, you know, but. Yeah, it's such a pain in the ass drawing my kit out and cleaning it, really, because uh, cause my garage ain't attached to my house. Uh, it's across the other side of town. It's just easier to try and keep it cleaner on the bank, really, than have to worry about sorting it out when I'm at home, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. But anyway, rambling as usual. Um, there's still a chance, but don't hold your breath. <laughs> Pucker. Oh, it's definitely sprung. Just coming up at seven o'clock. Uh, yeah, I was woken about what six o'clock. My eyeballs being burnt out, <laughs> but I ain't complaining. Uh, but what I am complaining about is just think lack of fish. Um, yeah, I've not even seen anything remotely looking like a carp since yesterday morning. Really, um, there's quite a bit of activity down this end. Um, as low, typical. Uh, yeah, fucking absolutely dead. There's supposed to be a wind on. I don't know what happened to that. Um, yeah, looking at my uh, weather apps yesterday, I used a couple of different ones. The local one on my phone's usually pretty accurate, accurate rather, and XE weather. Um, but it's funny how they contrast sometimes. Either one's right or the other. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, what can I say? Um, it's nice and dry, which is makes a change. Uh, yeah, but the fish, that knows. Yeah, they're on the naturals for sure. Uh, up in the water, you're not allowed zigs on there, so um, that's out of the question. So, this will be the last session now. Um, we've got a, a week next week up um, Ashbury Fisheries, as I said before. Um, yeah, let's so, hope uh, we fare better up there as long as they ain't bloody spawning. That's been in my mind for a while actually, thinking, oh, God, go away out there and they're fucking spawning. <laughs> Bit about right. It's a good, what, good three and a half hour drive, I think, for us. Something like that might be more actually. <sighs> Excuse me, not even fully awake yet, but it's nice to have sun, I can't lie. Anyway, unless a miracle happens in the next hour. I'm off. Oh dear, I've got a bit of a garden party going on today, so I should make that just because, really. Go and do, um, go and do the family thing, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I should update this probably on Ashby Fisheries, so uh, until then, that'll be it. Fuck that. Well, little did I know at the end of that last video, um, that was my last visit up to Reading Wars. Um, yeah, for one reason or another, um, quite a few reasons actually, <laughs> oh, I decided on a, a change of plan. Um, yeah, new vista, pastures new, whichever you want to call it, um, for various reasons really, uh, because of the price of the ticket, um, went up from £200 to £500, uh, that happened during Covid, um, yeah, um, I'd done seven years out there. Um, yeah, I, I just needed a new buzz, basically. So, uh, yeah, on the end there, I've tagged on uh, a few of my favourite fish, memorable fish, all the Redding Waters, uh, Wisty Mill, uh, Farnham Flint, Pinswood Lagoon. Um, I did do a little bit on Anglefield. Unfortunately, never had one out of there. I did lose a fish. Um, and even managed to get the old mug on... Um, one of the tickets one year uh 
with a uh, fish that rarely visited the bank, so uh, that's tagged on at the end. Anyway, that's it for the Reading Waters. Hopefully you'll continue to follow me on my uh, new quest uh, down on Spinnaker Lake in Dorset. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching my adventures on Reading.